got my favourite shirt on again. Go the All Blacks, best rugby team in the world. Okay, in this video we're going to do a variation of this one where we have a circle at the base and the corrugated circular pattern at the top to keep the strength. New sketch, horizontal plane, circle tool, make that 150. Finish sketch, construct an offset plane off the base, and I go up 180, enter, click on home, new sketch, go on to construction for a construction circle, make that 210. Go off construction and use the spline tool to create some corrugations. Zoom in. That snaps onto that construction circle. This is just a bit of guesstimation. Take it off. Cancel that. Now I can manipulate this. Happy with that. Create a circular pattern, select the objects, select the center point, change that to maybe 30, 28, still overlapping a lot. 23 is close enough, go OK. I'm going to zoom in and try and snap them in. You snap one, it snaps the lot. And that's actually pretty good, but you can also manipulate and adjust slightly from any of these. Finish. Go home. Now I'm going to create a loft. Click on the bottom one. Click on the top one. Fantastic. Get rid of this guy. Okay. Now all I have to do is shell that out. Modify shell. I'll try two. That looks okay. I'll beef that up to three. Just have to put the base hole for the B22 bayonet fitting. Rotate that over. I'm holding down the shift key and the mouse wheel to do the orbit. Create a sketch on the base. That was 29. Create a hole. 29. Enter. Finish sketch. My computer's making a bit of a smoke here. I can hear the fan going hard out. Right, do the hole. Press pull. Anything over three will do. It's cutting it. Okay, that is done. That was a quick video. Thanks for watching.